According to the World Health Organization, cardiovascular diseases, disorders of heart and blood vessels, are the number one cause of death globally. An estimated 17.5 million people died from cardiovascular diseases in 2012. No single human being has contributed more to the surgical treatment of cardiovascular diseases than <laughs> Dr. Michael DeBakey. He created hundreds of revolutionary ideas and concepts that have changed the way physicians practice medicine. Though he specialized in treating cardiovascular diseases, his methods have had a widespread effect on every aspect of medicine. He was a pioneer who helped inaugurate the era of open-heart surgery. He had a career spanning more than seven decades. He pioneered surgical techniques, devices, and instruments that have directly and indirectly helped save millions of lives. His life has been one of dedication, innovation, discipline, and above all, the heart. Michael E. DeBakey, Pumping Innovation for the Future. Dr. Michael Ellis DeBakey was born in Lake Charles, Louisiana on September 7, 1908 to Lebanese Christian immigrants who moved to the U.S. to escape religious persecution in the Middle East. As a child, he was small for his age, rather studious, enjoyed playing the violin, and read the Encyclopedia Britannica for recreational purposes. He was inspired to become a doctor by his interactions with local physicians while working in his father's pharmacy. Though Dr. DeBakey inherited his father's grit and tenacity, he credited much of his surgical success to his mother for teaching him to sew and knit. He entered medical school at Tulane after only two years of undergraduate studies, which was remarkable at the time. It was at Tulane that he came under the influence of Dr. Alton Oshner, who convinced him to become a surgeon. It was under Oshner that he began to develop his talent for organization, which would hold him in good stead for the rest of his life. While in medical school, he devised the roller pump, an integral part for the heart-lung machine. This machine takes over the function of the heart and lungs and keeps the patient alive so that the surgeon can operate on the quiet, motionless heart. This heart-lung machine has been used in millions and millions of patients to date to facilitate life-saving heart surgery. Its role in, in open heart surgery is the ability to actually stop the heart and stop the lungs, keep the patient alive while we're working in a quiet and relatively bloodless field. For this innovation, he received the Lasker Award for Clinical Research, the highest award in biomedical engineering. In 1930, Dr. DeBakey and Dr. Oshner were the first to discover the link between cigarette smoking and lung cancer, the leading cause of cancer deaths in the U.S. today. It was only decades later that this was substantially proven by scientific evidence to be the number one leading cause of cancer. Lung cancer also happens to be the number one cause of death in the United States, with over 160,000 casualties. DeBakey was already well known in his field of work and was well on his way to becoming a world-renowned surgeon. Then, disaster struck. He's have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, from the air. I will repeat that. President Roosevelt says... ...of the onslaught against us. Dr. DeBakey enlisted in the U.S. Army during World War II. He helped modernize battlefield surgery and develop early versions of what would later become MASH, Mobile Army Surgical Hospitals, during the Korean War. Using his influence as a politician in Washington, he also developed a medical program to care for retiring war veterans, which is known today as the VA system. In fact, the VA system in Houston is named after him. He was the driving force in rejuvenating the National Library of Medicine in Bethesda, Maryland, transforming it into the world's repository of medical information. Today containing over 24 million articles, it is still used by doctors, nurses, and medical personnel worldwide. In 1948, he became the chairman of the Department of Surgery at Baylor College of Medicine, and over a period of years, transformed it from a second-year hospital to a top-rated medical school producing leading surgeons throughout the country and abroad. In 1953, he developed the Dacron graft, 
used for repairing diseases of the arteries in the body. He sewed the first Dacron graft on his wife's sewing machine using the sewing skill he had learned as a child from his mother. On January 5, 1953, Dr. DeBakey performed the first successful repair of an aneurysm of the thoracic aorta using this very Dacron graft. These grafts are still used today throughout the world to prevent aneurysms from rupturing. It has saved the lives of millions as ruptured aneurysms almost always lead to death. But what is an aortic aneurysm? It's an abnormal enlargement of, of, of the uh, aorta. And so if you think about it, it's like a balloon blowing up. The aorta has a certain thickness, and when it gets larger and larger, it gets thinner and thinner. And aneurysm disease eventually is deadly because it pops just like a balloon. Again in 1953, he was the first to surgically unblock a carotid artery, which is the only surgical way to... And to prevent a person from having a stroke, uh, which is a neurological event that can be life-threatening or life-debilitating. So it's, it's to prevent a stroke. This operation is one of the most commonly performed procedures today, and the technique is still the same as it was advocated by Dr. DeBakey more than 70 years ago. In 1964, he performed the first successful operation to bypass blocked arteries in the heart. This life-saving procedure prevents heart attacks and has been performed on millions of patients around the world. In 1968, his team was the first to perform a transplant of four organs, a heart, two kidneys, and one lung from one owner to four different recipients. Realizing that the demand for the human heart transplant would outstrip supply, he developed a total artificial heart, as well as a partial one known as the left ventricle assist device. He was the first to successfully implant this device in 1966 and have the patient live. In 1969, President Johnson awarded Dr. Begge the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian award. In 1987, President Reagan presented him with the National Medal of Science. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today as we honored Congressional Gold Medal recipient Dr. Michael Ellis DeBakey. Please remain standing for the departure of the official party. Again in 2008, he received the Congressional Gold Medal from President Bush. He served almost every president in the last 50 years and has gained respect from all parties alike. He was a perfectionist and intolerant of incompetence and laziness. He was a very driven person, and he was not kind to those of us who were being trained. So the experience was mostly uh, painful, but it was, it was about discipline. Discipline. He expected us to know everything about the patients that we were seeing or operating on. Everything. If, if they sneezed the night before, we should know it. Yeah. During his career, he had performed more than 60,000 life-saving operations. Yet, perhaps his biggest contribution to medicine has been teaching other surgeons worldwide to help save countless lives throughout the globe. His legacy is the people he trained. That, that, that's what he would tell you. He wouldn't talk about uh, the innovations. His biggest legacy in training us was to be innovative and adaptive. I must uh, really admit that probably it's, uh, it's the people I train. Inarguably one of the world's greatest physicians, Dr. DeBiggy pioneered techniques and surgical equipment that forever changed the face of medicine. He cared for presidents and the ordinary man and treated them all with the same dignity and compassion. He served his country when called upon and acted as a medical statesman dealing with international, social, and political issues. His life was one of dedication, innovation, discipline, and above all, the heart. His work and contributions will influence generations to come. He was truly an American hero. Famed heart surgeon Dr. Michael DeBakey, a veteran of World War II, was laid to rest today at Arlington National Cemetery. Michael DeBakey, who practically invented modern heart surgery, died last night. Yet, in the immortal words of Dr. DeBakey himself, there is so much yet left to do.